Today's Friday and it's Good Friday. It's uh, April the 7th, 2023 and we're in Yeovil. We're actually just outside the Manor Hotel and uh, we're going to have a little walk around uh, Yeovil and then we're going to come back to the Manor because that's where we're going to have our lunch. So let's get going. So the Manor actually is one of our favourite places to go for, for lunch while we're here in Yeovil in Somerset. Uh, it also has another interesting characteristic, it's that just right across the road is the Masonic Hall, which I still haven't managed to visit yet. So that's on, on my to-do list. And one day I'll manage to go there and maybe even get to go to a meeting. Wouldn't that be cool? I've been coming to Yeovil now for many, many years. Uh, Serena lives here now. Uh, but Lara lived in the area uh, before that, so yeah, a good many years we've been coming to this area and uh, still haven't bit managed to visit the, uh, the Masonic Hall there yet. So I meet us up there in the lead with Luna. Had a lovely day yesterday, we went to see the Rugby Tots. <laughs> And we're now just walking up into the town. And that's your medal from yesterday, from the rugby tots, isn't it? Yeah, the rugby tots. That's really nice. Nice old pub, the butcher's arms. When we've been to Yeovil actually for many, many months now, much of it's been under renovation and <laughs> it appears that might still be the case. So we'll go up and investigate. A music shop there for Anita, the Waterloo music shop. I suppose she's got less of an interest now because we're now retired, so she doesn't need the music for school. One of the sad sights of Yeovil has been Beale's department store, which closed down a long time ago and uh, still doesn't seem to be doing anything. When I was here last, there were reports in the paper that uh, it was going to be developed. And that's now some months ago and nothing has happened. Well, today's Good Friday, so it's a public holiday. And this area is constantly under renovation, so it's been like this for months, maybe even years. I wonder sometimes whether they're ever going to finish. Maybe they'll just start something new again. But this has been like this for a long, long time now. So we just walk down into the town. I'm guessing a lot of shops will be closed. A lot of the businesses will be closed because it is a public holiday. So it might be a little bit quieter than normal. It's cool, but the sun's shining and uh, when you're in the sun it does actually feel quite pleasant in the shade it's quite cool and you probably know that Anita and I both like the shade so we're both going to be a bit cool <laughs> we are cool aren't we oh yes this is MP Marcus Fish member of parliament Always close that door as I wanted to complain to him about something. <laughs> oh. So apparently there's going to be some more work starting in this area shortly. And that's going to cause a little bit of chaos because this is where quite a lot of the buses uh, come. 
So if they start digging up the roads here, we're going to have to divert the buses. It's Cafe Nero. Just look up there. We do have some mighty fine buildings here. Uh, that's the old town hall. Uh, Halifax on one side, Barclays on the other, and then you can take all your money out and go to Betfred at the end. This is George Street. We'll see if you go later. It's a Lloyd's Bank here, and uh, I've only got praise for this particular branch of Lloyd's Bank because they uh, they endeavoured to get me a card, which was proving to be quite difficult and uh, they managed to sort it all out here in Yeovil for me. Last time we were walking through here it actually poured down with rain so we had to nip into Superdrug to buy a, an umbrella. This is the old memorial. You say this is where the works are going to be? You're yeah. going to dig yeah, all of this area? Yeah, for, I say, 36 weeks. Close for 36 weeks. You close this for 36 weeks, that's going to cause some really big car issues and bus issues. The bus is the main one because that's the some bus stops there. Uh, but this is uh, well, not the high street, this is the middle street, but uh, that's what it's called. But it's the sh sheet with, sh sheet, uh, street with the uh, with the main shops in it, so we've got a Marks and Spencers across the road there, and uh, more of the sort of typical shops that you'd find on any high street in any town. Yeovil has been one of the towns that's been a little bit um, left and not really been looked after too much, and you find lots of empty shops, sadly. It's like a second hand shop for gadgets. <laughs> and you've got your Greggs and your Costa Coffee. Find those on any any high street and uh, WH Smiths. WH Smiths have uh, started to branch out in airports, uh, certainly all over Spain. I'm not sure whether it goes and stretches through the rest of, of Europe, but certainly in Spain. So you've got the Costa Coffee there, and then there's a charity shop next to that. There's Coffee One, which is a place which we have been going to uh, on many, many occasions. But uh, one of the places that we discovered last year was the Union Street Brasserie. Great for uh, coffee, great for uh, a snack, bite to eat. We were really impressed. Beautiful place to go to. And... Uh, very welcoming staff. So, Royal mailboxes. So I've not seen one which says anything other than ER recently. I suppose we're going to get CR on them soon. And there you go. I've lost the family. That's the thing. Oh, we've gone into a charity shop. They do quite like the charity shops. Anita likes the charity shops. Always in for a bargain. Oh, I must admit, I quite like going in there. Great for buying books. So I'll leave them in the uh, shop there. And I'll uh, just have a, a little wander down, see, see what else we can see. Even though it is a, a bank holiday, it's Good Friday, there's still a, quite a few people around and uh, quite a few shops open. It's Primark, 
get your bargain closed there. We've got a Primark in, in Mallorca. It's in the shopping centre near to the airport called Fan. We don't have a pound land. Oh, that's really good. This, we're seeing these in Mallorca a lot. These are where you can fill your water bottles up so you can have water, keep yourself hydrated. There's even a few market stalls out today. Perhaps wouldn't have expected that. Blacks, Get all your outdoor equipment, shoes, boots, clothes. You used to even be able to get tents, I'm not sure whether you still can. Quite a few jewelers on this street. And uh, we went to Clark's Village yesterday, and there's a Clark shop. And the uh, Tui. We are actually going on holiday with Tui uh, in Ibiza later on this year. We're actually going to a wedding. You might see, might seem a bit strange that we're actually going to one of the other islands for our holiday, but uh, uh, we've got a wedding in Ibiza, and uh, well, I suppose it's any old excuse for us. Hot dogs. Quite a few charity shops here. This one is in aid of cancer research. Timpsons, that's where you go and get your keys cut. We also do shoe repairs. And a uh, nice bookshop across the road, Waterstones. Uh, bought many books from there. I guess Anita might be popping in, although I think she's already bought a book. She's quite into Richard Osman at the moment. She watches him on the TV. He has a show on BBC Two and she really enjoys that. And uh, she started reading some of his novels, which uh, I guess she's going to pass on to me. So you can see lots of work still going on down here. This was all dug up recently. I don't know how how it is further on, but look at the work that's going on there. Which means that all the shops on this side are closed down for the time being. <coughs> Something I don't remember seeing before. This is uh, bread. It's a community cafe. I oh, know, the roadworks are still down below. Somebody did tell me off last time, tell me off. They did uh, mention the fact that uh, when I came last time, I stopped around about here and didn't actually get down to the roadworks. So these are roadworks that have also been going on for months and months and months. And we find that in many places that we go to here, that they start some roadworks and they just never seem to finish them or they go on for for years and they'll say this will be finished in two years time i don't know how they dare put signs up like that and it must be devastating for the businesses that are down there if you're going to have something like that in front of you people are just not going to be going into your shop Poundland uh, had a big shop down here and they closed that down and uh, well they moved up the road but they were able to do something like that and some of the other shops are simply not able to do that and the road is floor here is ground is really quite a mess it's uneven how can it possibly take so long to do a job like this The Jessop shop here. Well, Jessop's shops, I think, all over have closed down. The name, I think, might still exist. And somebody from the Dragon's Den by the name and open it up as a 
an online shop because it's, it's really quite well known. I, I bought stuff from Jessup's when we lived in the UK years ago. But I think this has been like this for a year, maybe more. I'm sure someone from the area is going to correct me on this. And, but it's certainly a long, long time that uh, this road's been dug up. So all of the shops down here pretty much closed up and there's a shopping precinct here um, I'm guessing if I walk through there pretty much everything will be closed up I'm still going to walk a little bit further down see what if anything there is uh, set up a market stall I do hope people come down and purchase things here morning always get lovely fresh fruit and vegetables beetroots lovely beetroots there and sweet potatoes you're here every Friday well good luck <laughs> so lady's telling me that every Friday that market stalls there and you get your fresh fruit and vegetables it's got to be a good place to go to and they did, certainly did look really nice. So we're coming down almost to the bottom now, the, the shopping street here. And the last big shop is Wilco's. And there are. Um, hotels down here there's a premier in just at the bottom here this uh, this building's always fascinated me and that used to be the liberal club it's now the 94 club I wonder if that's the age I don't know there's a stone there and it says this stone was laid by Mrs. Strachey of Sutton Court, Somerset, on June the 4th, 1895. But a really nice sandstone building. And it's gained a new lease of life since being the Liberal Club. Interesting building all closed up, billboards outside it, it's an art deco-y type. So this is the end of the pedestrian area, there are a few more shops, bars, restaurants and the like down there in the cinemas and uh, Weatherspoons. So but I, I'd better go and find the family I suppose. So the idea was to come for a little walk around Yeovil and then go for for lunch at the manor. So that's the plan. So still needs a little bit of TLC. I'm going to leave the video at this point and uh, I'm going to walk up into what's the more modern part which is the the shopping centre and uh, so I'll go through the part where you saw the shops that were closed and uh, hopefully we'll find a bit higher up shops that are open I've just been having a chat to the lady on the, the vegetable stall and uh, she used to live in Spain uh, down in the south and uh, had a magazine down there and now she's in Somerset actually here's Glover's Walk and I'm looking I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get up to the top because that's where the stairs and the escalator take you up and that's closed off but this part look 
is mostly empty and it just leads up into the bus station there so if you there's one one place open atomic comics just take you through to have a look at the bus station we've actually caught buses from here in the past the national express which would take us to the airport um, but then i think they stopped it so uh, we now seem to use the train a little bit more unfortunately the train the railway station is not actually in the oval there's two railway stations and they're they're both outside and this is the the bus station and we have caught buses to other places too from here well i've just been in a lift which has brought me up to the shopping center that i couldn't actually get to from down below so not going to work if you can't actually get up here so that's where the shopping center was below is the global walk down there and that is closed off so you can't actually get up to here from there very easily so i've had to walk around and managed to come through the car park that's a bit of an adventure because i've never done that before so you can see more shops here and this is um, well <clears throat> perhaps a little more lively it's the methodist church down there different times of the year they have different activities different things going on uh, particularly in the summertime for the children but the sun's out and it's uh, it's quite pleasant and so quite a few people sitting outside having a coffee or a little bite to eat It's quiet, but it is a bank holiday, it is Good Friday, so I guess many people are just relaxing at home. One of these geeky sort of shops. that would have interested me a lot in the past is selling lots and lots of records in here we used to have a vast record collection but um i don't even have a record player anymore the works great for books at bargain prices lots of things to keep the children entertained Sounds as though the seagulls are in competition with each other.
something's woken the seagulls up. We're now at the back of Marks and Spencer, so we've more or less done a, a full circle. I haven't got a clue where the rest of the family are. And we've got the big church here in Yeovil, which I did actually go in video probably last summer. Very interesting building. Some lovely stained glass windows, but I just like the stonework here. It's sort of, I don't know, it's got a worn look to it. But we were, we were made most welcome by uh, a couple of gentlemen that were in there. So just at the top of the road here is where they're going to be digging it up in the next few weeks. The buses are going to be rerouted and of course the taxi drivers are going to have an issue because I'm sure they will find it very easy to get to this position. big coat on today and I'm getting a little bit warm. <laughs> I've got a jumper on, a shirt on, a vest on. Mm, maybe I've overdone the uh, keeping warm bit. Might need to ditch some something. So here we are at the top of the middle street. Stopping off at uh, the butchers uh, to get our roast for Sunday, Easter Sunday, <laughs> not sure what we're having. And it's just gone in there with the rest of the family to sort it all out. So I do like to see a traditional butchers. <laughs> traditional family butchers and it was established before I was born, 1952. Some gloomy fries and uh, some nachos when we just start over. Yeah. And uh, the children have got all of their food. Savannah? Well, it's been quite a wait but uh, fish and chips looks just what I wanted. And Serena's got uh, a burger, sort of burger something. Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese, I'm sure she's going to enjoy that. Oh, bacon and cheese! Uh, I think yeah. a rather yeah. yeah. lasagna. Thank you. And uh, yeah. Philip's steak over there. Lovely job, Lee. Bon provecho. Oh, that's Oh, there's an interesting comparison with the uh, Mallorca prices. So, that's our food for today. Uh, the turtle came to £105 now, that goes to two pence. Well, we are half home now. Children have all gone to get in the car, and uh, we've had a nice walk around Yeovil and uh, an interesting lunch. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Very slow. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.